Hi all, Nick here from Technology Lowdown. Today we are looking at Passbolt, the password manager for teams and groups. So this password manager, you'll notice in one of my earlier videos I installed it on a Raspberry Pi. You can install it on pretty much any uh, Linux infrastructure you've got. Um, and I found it was running quite well on, a, on the Raspberry Pi Model 3B and I'm sure it would run even better on the latest Raspberry Pi as well under the Ubuntu OS on there. Um, so where Passbolt is different is it's a password manager that's free and it's open source and you can install it on your own infrastructure and it's got uh, great security built into it. So I've got my Passbolt installation already running if you need to install it watch my previous video on installing Passbolt on your Raspberry Pi and once you're logged in start this video off. Okay so I've got Passbolt up here I'm logged in as the administrator user that I'm currently in so let's go to the users tab and look, I'm going to create another user here. So I'm just going to um, grab a temp email address. All right, so let's go create user. And I've got a temporary email here. New user. Call it this person. Surname. There's their email. And look, I might just go, they're not an administrator for this one save all right so i've got that user and what that'll do is that'll send an email notification to that user that they've been added to passport so if i refresh this uh, temporary email address here we should see that we receive an email address so while that email is coming through i'm just going to create a group here i'll call it uh let's go i os accounts because what i'll do is i'll create a password for apple.com and then I'll share it with this user. So at the moment, it won't actually let me search for that user because they're not actually added properly. But I will add myself to this list for the moment and I'll set myself as a group manager because I'm an administrator. I'll go save. All right, so here's that email address. Here's that email. So let's click on that one. And what that'll do is it will have a link to set up Passbolt. So because I've already got Passbolt set up in this web browser with the uh, Passbolt extension, I'm going to right click and copy this link. And I'm going to jump over to Google Chrome because you can install Passbolt on Chrome as well. Okay, so that's the link I've just pasted from that email. And I'll download the Passbolt plugin to Chrome. I'll add that one. And I'm just going to make a copy of that uh, email address that I set up for that user. Copy that one there. Okay, so back into Chrome. We've got Passbolt installed now. It's the icon system in the top right corner. I'll click retry and look we're good to start the install. So I've checked that this domain is correct uh, which is here so that's fine. Now you don't need to change anything on this page you can just continue past this page. Alright so this is where you need to set the passphrase. I'm going to set this one. Obviously the end user would be doing this. Now this is that key that they need to download in order to recover all their passwords. So I'm going to download this key. I'll give it a name. That way they, the user can recover their passwords in their account if they need to. Select a color. Let's go with a uh, bit of a red. Alright, so this user should now be set up. I just need to log in. Okay, and we're logged in. Currently, this user has no passwords because they haven't created any, and it's not actually a part of a group yet. So let's jump back to the administrator on Passbolt. Alright, so I'm logged in as the administrator at the moment, and I'm going to create a password. I'm going to call it uh, apple.com. I'll give it an address. Let's go to uh, Apple ID login. 
Let's grab this URL. All right, so I've copied that URL, pasting that one in, and let's just create a fake account here. We'll go this one here, and we'll put a password in. Just copy those last couple of digits. Save. Looks like that's too long. That's right, we'll just delete that. Save. All right, so now that account is created for apple.com. Now we're going to share this one with the Apple, with the iOS accounts. And we're going to go iOS accounts as an owner. So if a user is in iOS accounts, they can update this password. Just confirming my password here. And I'll remember it for one hour. All right, so that is done. That's shared there uh, to the iOS users. Now, if I go back into this password, actually, we can see what the sharing settings is. The user, the original creator is the owner, and the group is the owner as well. If we go to this iOS accounts group, we can see that these are all the that this is will be the list of passwords which is shared with that group. We've got that password created, we've uh, shared it with iOS accounts. So to now add that new user that we created, when you go to the users tab, iOS accounts, click the plus button, go edit group, and we will add in that account that we created. And we might just go member for the moment. Let me go save. So one of the things that happens when you uh, add a user to the group in Passbuild is they will also receive an email saying that they are now a member. So I'll just go and view this email here and we can see that uh, Nicholas has updated your membership in the group iOS accounts. So that means that um, they are now a member of that account and they receive that notification so that's good that means you don't need to tell them that you've shared them that password um, they will know that they've got that password because of that email notification that they get um, so uh, there's a couple of notifications in this view because I have added it as a group member and as a member of the account but you can see how Passport keeps the users informed uh, the people on your team informed in relation to their membership of the different groups and possible. And let's jump back into Chrome. Now, if I refresh this, we should now see that we've got a new password here. We go to filter by groups, we can see that we've got that password. And I've just selected that uh, password in the list there now. And if I uh, click on the password, we can see that the only option I've got is to copy it to the clipboard and then I can paste it. Now, if I was to set this user as group manager for this group, we'll just go back to Firefox. We'll go edit group, and we will set this user to a group manager. Click save. Now back in Google Chrome, if I just refresh this view. So yeah, as you can see, I've shared that password with this other user in Chrome. And what that enables the user to do is they can go in, they can update that password, but they cannot add further members to that group. So that's the difference between a group manager and a group member. Well, I hope this video has been helpful to you and seeing how Passable might just be the password manager for your team or your workplace. Let me know what you think of the video in the comments. If you've liked it or disliked it, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Please let me know uh, what you think of this video also in the comments and I'll answer your questions if you have any either. Um, if you would like to subscribe, subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. Thanks and I'm Nicholas. See you again soon.